Why is the absolute speed of light as simple as the absolute speed of sound in a medium? Light travels through a medium that fills space, which is why its speed is not relative to an observer or the light source. The fact that the speed of light is absolute is as simple as the absolute speed of sound. The speed of sound is independent of its source or the observer and is dictated by the medium through which it travels. Similarly, the speed of light is determined by the medium it traverses. In fact, light travels through a medium that pervades the entire universe. In modern physics, the speed of light is considered a fundamental constant of the universe. It is currently believed to be the maximum speed at which all matter, energy, and information can travel. In a vacuum, this speed is 299,792,458 meters per second, approximately 300,000 kilometers per second or 186,000 miles per second. This speed is considered absolute because it remains unchanged regardless of the motion of the light source or the observer. This principle is a key postulate of Einstein's theory of special relativity, implying that the speed of light will always appear the same to you, no matter how fast you are moving. Einstein arrived at this conclusion about light based on the results of the Michelson-Morley experiment. This experiment, designed to detect the existence of ether, a space-filling substance, attempted to measure relative motion between the ether and the Earth. The experiment yielded negative results, and subsequent experiments have supported these findings. In fact, the results of the Michelson-Morley experiment significantly influenced the development of the special theory of relativity. However, my research suggests that every mass defect is transformed into an extremely thin form of space-filling matter. Since mass defect is a universally occurring phenomenon, for example, Every active star in the universe, supernova explosions, neutron star collisions, etc., produce mass defects on a large scale. It leads to the conclusion that space in the entire universe is filled with a space-filling matter. As a form of matter, it will be attracted by massive bodies in the universe. Consequently, planets, stars, and other massive celestial bodies in the universe maintain a dense region of this matter around them. The density of this matter is greater near a massive body and decreases with distance. This region acts as a bubble around massive bodies, extending a large distance into space from the body. This bubble acts as an envelope around the body, preventing the detection of ether wind-like phenomena. This explains the failure of the Michelson-Morley experiment and similar types of experiments to detect space-filling matter. In fact, space-filling matter exists, and one may call it ether or any other preferred term. Light travels through this space-filling medium, which is why its speed is not relative to an observer or the light source. This is similar to how a sound wave's speed is independent of its source or the observer and is dictated by the medium through which it travels. The absolute speed of light is one of the foundational ideas that led to the development of the special theory of relativity. However, once the absolute speed nature of light is understood, the validity of the theory of relativity itself becomes questionable.